Wants to get a colonoscopy. Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in Vermont brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. My name is Ava Solberger and this here is Reverend Diane Sullivan. Howdy. You hear it, man? has to get ready for a colonoscopy. And there's a camera and it goes in your bum and takes a looky loo around in your colon. Make sure everything is happy slappy. That's Mikey. That's Mikey there. My brother Michael, he died when he was 47, and I'm 46. He got colon cancer, but nobody we didn't nobody caught it. He went through a little spell of not feeling well, and nobody knew why, and this and that and the other thing. But then he got diagnosed, I think it was May 23rd, 2003, and then he died June 15th, 2003. So that's like three weeks, bam! I don't want that to happen to me. So that's why we're doing this. I work at Seven Days, I'm the art director. And I was talking about having to get a colonoscopy. And you know, we're all giggling about it. And I was like, geez, I should call Ava, we should do a video. And we're gonna have some fun inside my colon. That's right, it's stuck inside a Vermonter this week. <laughs> I last ate food at, I think, eight o'clock last night. It's like 6.30 now, and I'm really excited about this. This is to clean out your colon, your intestines. And then tonight I have to drink half of it. Well, that doesn't smell like lemons. Oh, I think it's mixed. Oh God, no, there's chunky bits. There's chunky bits in it. Ooh. You drink this business, and that's when the magic happens. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be at all. Bigger cup. That's a bigger cup there. <laughs> oh god, just the sound of it makes me come a running. Yeah. Can we just make some martinis instead? Oh, oh dear god. Did you want to try some? It has a weird uh, viscous feel to it. I'd say that's half. Five hours before the procedure, you start drinking the rest of it. I'm like a ticking time bomb right now. Should I hug you? We're we gonna get a little. I don't be careful. Don't hug me too hard. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna spend some time. <laughs> Going into the poop deck now. <laughs> yeah, geez, Louise. I hope this isn't too much of a pain in the bum. Today we're at the University of Vermont Medical Center and I'm about to get a colonoscopy. And today they're giving out chapsticks. This morning I woke up and at 10 o'clock I had to start drinking the rest of that goo and you know, I'm clean as a whistle <laughs> and ready to roll. Hello. I'm loopy. I'm delirious. Because we're making a movie about getting colonoscopies. Oh my god, how exciting! <laughs> well, colon cancer is the third most common uh, cancer in the United States. It's also the one that's associated with the third most common mortality. And we have a very good screening test. We can either find cancer early and treat it or prevent cancer from developing. Yeah. Got like a zillion tattoos. What's an IV? Do I get a sticker or something? And I talked to this woman at Blue Cross Blue Shield, and she told me that it's 100% covered because it's a good thing to do. Perfect. Colonoscopy party today. Okay. So unfortunately, people with colon cancer, by the time they have symptoms, this is pretty extensive disease. So that's why we try to get this procedure done early and frequently. <laughs> Behind your ears, under your chin, blood pressure, sat monitor. And so a lot of people will come in saying that they don't know what their family history is or their family never talked about these things. But I think it's important for people to find out their family history. Pancreatic, kidney, bladder, ovarian, endometrial, small bowel, stomach. Any of those cancers in the family may increase a person's risk for colon cancer. Deep breath. And out. I'm gonna get you in position for this. <laughs> it's the happy juice. 
I feel a little something kicking yeah, in. Yeah, it looks fast. You're not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> so you might feel a little bit of cramping here going around a sharp turn. Man, this isn't so bad. Check me out on that screen. It's like watching the Discovery Channel. You see those squirrels? Most people are surprised. They're expecting stool and blood and guts, quote unquote. But what they see is a very sort of clean, shiny organ with blood vessels running through it. Whoa! <laughs> Four to five feet in. Okay, so this little half moon here, yeah. in the center, if you put your finger inside it, it should be inside your appendix. So here is your small intestine. See those villi there? Uh -huh. Looks like a sea anemone. The treat is if you can see the small intestine, they find that very sort of um, surprising. So see, far, this so thing good. looks crazy, but you gotta check it out. Wow. Like Isn't that it looks beautiful? Like a... What is that? That's the scope. So we are almost. Awesome. Yeah, it looks good. I don't see any polyps in there, so we'll see you again in five years. Because of Yay. your brother's history, you're on the five-year yeah. plan. No polyps, no Wait. problem. <laughs> no polyps and clean as a whistle. Thanks, Doc. You can eat whatever you want when you go home, and then back to your usual activity tomorrow. Okay? Perfect. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Likewise. In and out. Done. Don't have to do it again for a while, and we know that I got no polyps. Right on. <laughs> Get a colonoscopy when you turn 50. If you got family history, then you do it early. There's nothing to be scared about, so get that out of your head. It's a whole lot better than winding up dead. March is colorectal cancer awareness month, so you should be getting a colonoscopy if you're over the age of 50. And we will get stuck inside of a mantra with you again <laughs> real yes. soon. You should follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and sign up for our episode alerts. What? My brother, Mike, liked to play golf. There's a golf ball on the bottom. His friends decided to put on an annual Sully Open golf tournament. We raised money for the American Cancer Society or Vermont Hospice or different things like that. We all got matching tattoos for Mikey. Colonoscopy just sounds like, ooh. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. I think the colonoscopy needs like a PR campaign or something. Maybe like a different name. What magic? Butt blossoms. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you? <laughs>